He is your early favorite for this year's Kentucky Derby, undefeated as a two-year-old and an impressive winner of the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Nyquist out working this morning at Santa Anita going six furlongs. Welcome to the morning line on America's Horse Racing Network TVG from the TVG studios in Los Angeles. I'm Todd Trupp along with Matt Carruthers. Matt, uh, Nyquist getting ready for his three-year-old debut in the San Vicente. And you're trying to put some stamina into a horse like this, right, who hasn't raced in a while, coming in off of, a, off of a vacation, hasn't raced since his big win in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. So uh, I guess he worked a mile this morning. The, the, the official workout is three quarters. Okay. And I think 15 and change is what, what the, the, the final time is. So um, he's just a really, really good racehorse. How much will he improve? Yeah, that's the key. As a three-year-old, uh, you know, and if he doesn't improve much, uh, he could be in trouble because you know there's some horses, obviously, two-year-olds last year, they're going to be much, much better, uh, mature, and become really good racehorses as, as three-year-olds. But he's ultra-competitive. He seems to have some versatility to his game. He can go to the lead. He can sit off a little bit. He loves it here at, at Santa Anita. Um, and it's an exciting time for, for every everybody involved and uh, a trainer in Doug O'Neill who who knows how to win the Derby. But how do you feel about the race that he's returning in, the seven furlong San Vicente? I think it's a good a good starting point. Okay. Don't you? It, it's, I mean, people, we, every once in a while you hear people say, well, the Derby's coming up soon. Three plus months? Yeah. In terms of these horses this time of year, that's an eternity. You're not in a rush at all right now. I mean, Texas Red came back right after winning the Juvenile in the San Vicente last year to lose to Lord Nelson. I think he finished second in that race. I think it's a good starting point. You're not in a hurry to all of a sudden go two turns. You know, in this day and age with the lack of racing that we have from our elite horses, to me that makes sense for this horse to return at Santa Anita, going seven furlongs in the San Vicente, I believe a race that will take place President's Day, February 15th. You are correct in that assessment. Six furlongs completed in 115 and three. That was the official time. And as Matt mentioned, though, the work intended to be about a mile. Nyquist undefeated and uh, about to make his three-year-old debut in just a couple of weeks from now. That was his workout this morning at Santa Anita. We'll have additional reporting from Brittany Erton, who spoke to Nyquist trainer Doug O'Neill afterwards.